Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Instagram Dimensions New Game Plus 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 video, episode 212. And finally, we are going to be focusing on the paired challenge ranking. So you can see statistics here. My ranking is 116.1 out of 200. And you can see there is some stuff I have missed. And, you, well, that I couldn't do. Like, 2 and 7, 7 and 8 couple of others, probably want to do everything as pair challenge one, and yeah, these are probably going to be all super easy, I mean, I guess I can probably just try doing everything with anti-dilation at this point, so, as pair challenge one, so that that's what we're going to do, we're going to respec, we're going to quantum, we're going to go anti-dilation, and just do every single um, combination of paired challenges. And also try to do it quickly. So that's what I am going to be. I mean, I mean, I mean. I guess I'm just gonna do these off camera because you know this is extremely repetitive. But if there's any like case where I actually or it's actually a struggle, then I will talk about it. So yeah, see in a bit. Okay, this seems to be the only challenge I struggle with. Seven and eight. Um, all the other challenges except six and eight, I, could, I got easily E1 quadrillion antimatter, even like two and seven, which is one of the tougher ones. So, okay, this is definitely interesting. Um, seven and eight anti-dilation at this point is not possible. So, um, how do I just okay, exit challenge? What if I... Do not do anti-dilation. I just go here. Okay, here it's easy. So I can so now we go back into the, the statistics. I've done all the pair of ch uh, challenges. The only one that I couldn't do with anti-dilation is seven and eight, um, and it's still a no dilation. Like you can see here, this one is. So my ranking is now 172, 200, which means that I have this achievement, which means pair of challenges ranking multiplies. Ghostly particle gain. I'm not sure if it's just by that like the same amount, which would be weak. Maybe it's stronger. I don't know. We also have 22 rows of achievements. We are only missing three achievements at this point, and two of them are just progression-based ones. And the last one is pair challenge ranking. So that's exactly what I'm going to be um, doing. So get 190 pair challenges ranking. So what I'm going to want, I've unlocked super mastery. Which, what even is that? You can't have normal time studies, and you can't have 20 normal mastery studies. Okay, that's interesting. So, I guess we're just we're just going to be, you know, I mean, oh, I could be doing both at once. Oh, that that, that must, that has to be, like, the, the way you really get the ranking, right? That has to be it. So, that, that's what I'm going to do. So, we're going to go here. And we're going to see just how easy it really is with both of these. So we're just going to we're going to start at 1 and 2 and okay. So that that seems like it's going to it's going to be pretty easy for most of the paired challenges because you can see I'm still getting e quadrillions of answer even with super mastery. I mean, is super mastery even working? We're just going to look here. We're going to go here. We are going to Start the challenge. We're gonna just like look here. I don't have this, and yeah, you can see I'm I'm not optimizing my mastery studies in any way. Um, if I do have trouble with it, I can optimize. Um, but at this point, there is no point to optimizing for that. So yeah, we're gonna, we're just gonna do the same thing as before, and I will catch in on any notable. Um, challenges, like ones that are actually challenges, not just like, you know, oh, I can instantly reach the goal. So, yeah, see another bit. Okay, here's one, three and seven. Um, I do remember three and seven being kind of a notably hard one, it's like the fourth hardest out of all of them. Two and seven was no problem, but three and seven does look to be a problem, and the goal is really high as well, so maybe I can try optimizing mastery studies, except well, I need to crunch. Oh, okay, that's how I'm, I do it. Just crunch and I reach the goal. Okay, okay, it's still kind of trivial. All I need to do is just crunch a couple of times. So, 
at least, like, that was the first one that I actually needed to crunch on to actually, you know, reach the goal. Everything else was just, was, was like this, where I just go in and automatically I have enough antimatter to complete the challenge. Okay, now we're getting to the interesting one, six and eight. And let's see if this is possible. Oh, it is possible. Okay, I mean, it's not e quadrillions, but it's still actually possible without even crunching, which is interesting. Now, seven and eight. Well, I couldn't do seven and eight with anti-dilation, but maybe we can do it with just super mastery. Oops, nope, I'm just doing a regular quantum challenge at this point. I need to assign you in the start. So, is this possible? Yes, it is. So, super mastery seems like it's even even weaker than anti-dilation at this point. Um, so you can see now we go here and yeah, we have every one of these at uh, pair challenge one. My ranking is 199 out of 200. The only one in my way is pair to challenge seven and eight with anti-dilation. So well, let's, let's see. I also got this achievement, um, which was get 190 pair challenges ranking, and it just says the reward is um, quantum and pair challenge goals are decreased by 5%, except during big rip, which actually may help with quantum challenge 7, 8, um, anti-dilation. So let's disable super mastery. Go back here, and I'm just going to try it again, just like normally. 7, 8, choose, I need E16 billion, um, I don't seem to have my time studies. I don't know why. Um, I do have my mastery study. Of, I guess I need to get these manually, or I can probably just, you know, oh yeah, buy all time studies, except that doesn't buy all mastery studies. I can probably, you know, presets, just do something in here. It's just, this probably gives me the majority. Wait, no, that's not good enough. I need to respec and just, there, and buy all of these manually, which is. Yay, it's so boring. Oh no, what the heck? Uh, oh my god, I, <laughs> that's the worst feeling to do that. Um, it's probably, it just has one time, so it's probably not, oh, I'm gonna do it anyway, I just need to, to, to do any, is any of these presets just like, buy everything? No. Uh, why is there not a buy all button? There needs to be a buy all button. I mean, they have that for the time studies. It's really not hard to implement that for the mastery studies as well. Okay, there we go. We now have everything, and I have way less antimatter. Probably just eternity. Um, do I even have all the time studies? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, so. You can see this is where I'm stuck at. Um, can I get... I guess I can get this... Whoa! Just doing that is enough to complete the challenge. Does that put me at a 200? Yep, it does put me... I don't even need to do it at... I don't need to do both. Maybe I'll do both, just, you know. Because our ranking is perfect. I mean, I still kind of want to do... Well, first, I, I need to actually make a new... I know. I am making a new mastery study preset. New preset. Um, rename everything. And then, because I, I want to see the final challenge. Anti-dilation and super mastery. In just parity challenge one with this. Is it possible? Yes. <laughs> it is... <laughs> Definitely possible. It's not even hard. That was kind of a joke. Anyway, it looks like we've gotten all but two achievements. We've done all of the pair challenge stuff that I need to be doing. <laughs> and yeah, this is definitely interesting. We are really, really approaching the end of the series this time because... Now there's not really any even achievements to go for. That's not something I could have said last time at episode 194, where there were still a few achievements here and there that I did need to get. Um, actually, a lot of them involved the pair challenge ranking. So, um, 
yeah, and here there's still there's still definitely some progression I do need to, you know, do just with the Balsonic Lab and everything. And maybe next episode will be the first episode where I start focusing on the Electron exploit. Maybe, I mean, hopefully all of these achievements together will hopefully give at least a little bit of a boost. I'm hoping <laughs> that... Um, He'll just do something to at least get me a little bit farther without the Electron exploit. But maybe we're going to be abusing that next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.